Good afternoon. I just got to hear you speak. Uh, you were invited here today to uh, speak about uh, the uh, new health care law that has been enacted by Congress and upheld by the uh, United States Supreme Court. And uh, one of the things that you mentioned there was that um, health services, that the Catholic Church uh, services does provide a lot of care to a lot of people and the impact that this new legislation is going to have on those services. Can you uh, give us a little bit of background on that, please? Absolutely. The difficulty with regards to the mandate is that they uh, ask us to go against our beliefs. And so that's why it's an issue of religious liberty. For us uh, to pay for medication that would cause uh, the death of an innocent child, we, we can't do that. And that's why you hear so many bishops, 191, actually all of the bishops in the United States, uh, as well as our Holy Father uh, speak about this. We, uh, they're speaking out and they're saying we, we can't follow the mandate as it's stated. Very good, Father. How many people are served by uh, the, the Catholic hospitals that do exist in the United States or, or roughly, you know, what's that look like? I mean, how much service do you provide as far as health care uh, here in the United States? Well, you can go uh, on the internet for the statistics exactly, but it's roughly one in five pages serviced uh, in the United States is, is serviced, uh, served in a Catholic hospital. And so how will this uh, new health care legislation impact uh, Catholic services? Can you give us a little bit of an idea of what that's going to look like? Well, I can't speak definitively, but I can say that it's going to be a real difficulty for Catholic hospitals to be faithful to the mandate as it's written. Uh, we're, we're not going to be able to offer those services and so we, you, it really comes down to a speculation of what's going to happen and if you read from the United States Catholic Conference of Bishops and their website uh, they're really looking at a number of different things on how we can address the mandate but well, one of those would be to close the hospitals. Wow, so we're, we're talking about uh, because of, of the religious beliefs and, and not uh, getting rid of your values, the, the only option you would have would be to close facilities. We're trying to look at other options and uh, again those are, are accessible on the website but one of the options uh, unfortunately would be to close the doors before we would actually provide services of abortion, sterilization and contraception. I understand. Um, the Stupac amendment was supposedly supposed to be offered up to help um, this from occurring. Um, and uh, and I think the president himself had said that these things wouldn't be enforced, but now it looks like they are. It, um, so so these things are going to be upheld and, and are going to be implemented. Is that what you're, what you're seeing from, um, from these mandates? The mandate uh, essentially said that we would have uh, one year, 12 months, to effectively figure out how we can violate our conscience. Wow. Um, <laughs> that doesn't leave you in a very good position uh, as a priest. No, it does not. Um, so how, how do you think your parishioners see this? Do they see this as, um, as an attack on their faith or, or how, do they, how do they view this? What are they, what are they feeling? Well, it's, it's hard to really put it into, into one sentence how all of them feel. I know that they are disheartened by the fact that the mandate was issued. It doesn't seem like it needs to be uh, issued. It's not a necessary thing. Um, you know, we want health care reform, very clearly. We want health care reform, but you cannot trample on religious liberty in order to provide health care and that's essentially what is being done. As a priest you're here to serve all people and um, out there in the world there's a group of people who want to say that this whole issue is a war on women. Um, how, how does that make you feel? Uh, because I don't believe you're waging war on anyone, but how does, how does that make you feel when those statements, there's a war on women over contraceptive and these abortion issues, um, it's pretty massive. The abortion rates in the U.S. are pretty high. Um, do you know what those rates are? 
Uh, I am not sure. I, I do believe that abortion rates have gone down uh, for for quite some time, and there will be different uh, people that would argue, uh, you know, a number of different stats, whether that was because of abstinence education or was it because of a massive amount of contraception that was available. I suppose that, that would be debatable. What? How do I feel when they accuse uh, the church or even me personally that I'm waging war on women? I uh, simply look at them and I try and uh, uh, love them uh, and try and understand that they don't understand my position. Uh, they don't see how uh, many of our services are oriented towards women. You know, those who have had an unplanned pregnancy, we provide uh, f for, for diapers, for every type of care that you can think of with regards to the child and to the mother uh, as they're going through the pregnancy. So the, the types of things that, with regards to being oriented towards women and caring for them, well, we do, we're, we're essentially uh, trying to care for women. What does the Diocese of Wheeling and Charleston, uh, the Catholic Services Charities, what, what types of services does this diocese provide here in this area? Well, uh, again, they're, they're comprehensive. I mean, you can go again to the website to see, but, uh, you know, from, from, uh, from start to finish, uh, they're, they're there to provide during pregnancy, um, after birth, and uh, I believe up to, well, it's just gonna, as the, the child continues to grow, that they're, they're there with services for them. Very good. Uh, again, we thank you very much for your time and, and uh, taking a moment here to uh, speak with us with Ohio Free Press. Uh, again, here with Reverend Dennis Shulkins uh, from the Diocese of Wheeling in Charleston. Thank you very much. You're welcome. It's my pleasure.